What's up everyone, welcome back to the channel. Sorry it's been a while, I haven't uploaded for but it's been a busy, busy Christmas and New Year period so I haven't had the chance to get on and play much with work and things like that so it has been a while, I know that. But I'm back now, going to be uploading quite frequently from now on since it's the turn of the new year and Happy New Year to you guys. Hope you've had a good Christmas, hope you've had a good day yesterday. But yeah, let's just jump right back into this. I'm going to get started on a drift build because I'm really enjoying the drifting on this game so I'm going to do another drift build here this time I'm going to do an RX-7 let's see, let's have a look at what engine swaps we can do to this thing a 4 litre V8 another 4 litre V8 2.9 V6 4 litre flat 6 a forged 1.3 wank oh, don't think I'm going to go for that Go for the 3.8 litre V8. Yeah, let's do it. I'll put a V8 in this. A lot of the diehards probably won't like that, but... Fuck them, basically. It's got unlimited parts on everything here. I've been told this car is really good for drifting, by the way, so... I thought I had to come on and do a build. Just to see if... What everybody's saying is actually true or not. You guys have all already noticed as well in this video that my ugly face is on it, and it will be from now on. So, it's either good for you guys or quite unlucky for you guys. Anyway, we have a single turbo or twin turbo. Let's toggle them stats and see what happens. Yeah, single turbo. Single turbo it is. Like this, five three pound tanks on the like this. Okay, right. So suspension. What have we got? Just track. Right. Okay. So again, showcase is more for drift and road, and the speed cross is more for off road and drift. But believe it or not, the speed cross really really helps with drifting. So, speed cross it is, for the suspension, elite brakes, as you can see as well, I don't have a lot of money, so we might manage to do a full build on this, we might not, but let's see, drift tyres definitely, okay clutch, what are we going to go with? Plus on the clutch gearbox, okay, so do we stick with a five speed or do we go for a six speed? You know what, I'm gonna stick with a five speed. Yeah, stay with a five speed. I'll have a look at differentials here as well. Again, speed cross is so much better for drifting, but a lot of people don't like it because it actually raises the height of your car. I'm going speed cross. I don't care what people say. And I'm just going to leave the auxiliary items. I don't need them. I'll not be doing a lot of night drifting in this, I'll be using the GTR for night drifting, which will again be coming soon if you remember from the last video. Right, let's see what we can do to this, see what we can make it look a hell of a lot better. I do like the rocket money kit but it makes that arch gap look ridiculous. And that's just something I, I don't think I'd be able to live with. Let's change a view and have a look at this kit here. I don't like how the tyres don't fill the arches on that. You know what? Let's just go rocket burner. I don't like that arch gap, but we might be able to do something about it. 
Sleepy Eyes. Sleepy Eyes it is. Hood, what have we got for the hood? Go all out. Crazy on the hood. Yeah, why not? Okay, front bumper. It's got to be Rocket Bunny, doesn't it? Yeah, it's got to be the Rocket Bunny. Hopefully the splitter will make it look a bit lower to the... Oh, I don't actually get a Rocket Bunny splitter, so... Hmm. I was hoping for a Rocket Bunny splitter there, but it's not giving me that option. Not a big fan of these horrible splitters, but... Mate, that arch gap is ridiculous. Look at that. That's horrible. Horrible, horrible arch gap, but... Like I said, it's the best parts you can put on for. It's got to be Rocket Bunny side skirts. It's the best parts you can put on for drifting. Rocket Bunny rear arches as well. What mirrors do we have? Go for the small chrome mirrors. Spoiler. Do I have a big rocket bunny? No, just a small tail lamp. That'll do, I suppose. Tail lights. LED tail lights. A rear bumper. I only have the one option for the rear bumper, so maybe the diffuser might look a bit better. But anyway, let's change the point here. Nope, no surround on the plate. Change the text on this. You guys know what the text is by now. And change the background. We'll go for the rivals background. Okay, so let's see if we get a, if we do we have a rocket bunny diffuser. It does make the back end look a little bit better, but Still not great. Anyway, we'll put it on. We'll go with that. Not 100% keen on that, but... Go for a big single can. Out oh, for the wheels. What have we got here? Let's change it on. Might go for something a bit different here on the rims. Always go for the same kind of style, but might change it up, go a little bit different on this. I say that, I'll end up sticking to what I usually do. Although I do like the MS1s. Falling more in love with the MS3s. It's quite similar to the standard wheel as well. You know what? We're going to go with them. Let's see MS3s we're going to go with. Change the size of them. Going to do it all black on this build. Tires. Don't want no writing on the tyres. Go with them. You guys probably won't be a fan of how this build looks, but you know I'm gonna keep the red calipers on it as well. All the way down. SSRs, MS3s on the front as well. Change the size. I hate how it always goes the smallest option. Again, put the black piece out. And change the tyres. You know what? I'm going to go back. I'm going to change the tyres on the rear.
then looks a bit monster truckish. But anyway, that's it. Then. I suppose we could change the stance, slam it down as much as it can go. Camera on the front. Oh, oh that's camera on the rear. Okay. Yeah, full camera on the front. Why not? FX. We could put air suspension. That drops it down a hell of a lot. I wish it would stay that low when we were actually driving in the game. I'm gonna go for red underglow. No tire smoke. None of that guff. Okay, let's hear what this thing sounds like. sound of it. it sounds amazing let me know in the comments below what you guys think of the sound I think it sounds brilliant ok so that's that i to put a wrap on it let's see what the community have done let's see. rather than doing a custom wrap Thought they would have went for that. What do we have here? I quite like the look of this. I was just going to go all black on it, but I want to see what the community have done for this car. Quite liking the look of this. Hoping once I put this wrap on, I can go in and put my sun strip on that I always have as well. Hoping I can do that. I don't know if I will be able to do that. What do we have? What else do we have? I quite like the look of that. So do we stick with an original look for this car or do we, yeah you know what, quite like the deep dark orange at the start here, so I think I'm probably going to go with that, it's over a thousand wraps for this car. I'm going to go with this one. Open if I edit wrap decals, I can. Okay, so that's good. Put a sunstrip on this. Go there and then add some text to that. Change the colour. I'll get an orange to match this colour if I can. That's close enough, that's good. There we go. And click on this, change the colour of this to grey or black. Grey stands out a bit better. There we go. That's the build for this one, guys. Like I said, I was going to paint it myself, but I was going to just do all black on it. But I thought, you know what, we'll check what the community have done. There was a thousand wraps for that in the community there, for this car. It's crazy. But yeah, that's that's the way this car looks. I suppose it's time we get out there and we test it, see what it's capable of. Because as I've said, this thing had a hell of a lot of good reviews being set up as a drift car. Now, I don't know if it'll compete with the GTR. The GTR is by far my favourite drift car. You've probably heard in the last couple of videos that I've done how much I love it. So yeah, let's let's get out there and test this anyway. Alright guys, here we are at the first drift event. 
Oh, it's been a while, it's been two weeks since I even played this game. Never mind uploading a video. So, no judging here because this might be shocking. But yeah, let's try this car out. See what it's capable of. Got a lot of wheel spin off a lot line already, so. It certainly wants to get the back end out. Very slidey. It's not a bad thing. Hell, a lot more harder to control already. I've noticed compared to the GTR. GTR is very, very, very easy to control. I think that's why it's one of my favourite cars. But we're getting the score up with this. It's going. It's just it's, like I say, it's harder to control. But it seems like a good build. This I can understand why people, so many people, have raved about this car, and saying that it is one of the best drift cars out there on this game anyway it's just a tight part of the track here that's where it'll really show oh, that's my terrible drift in there I'll just ignore that but yeah no the car handles very well it's just uh, you need to be that little bit more aware of what's going on around you because it does slide very easily which makes that harder to control but first lap down and we've almost smashed the target score two laps to go oh, it's a terrible start to this lap compose yourself Chris Jesus fucking shocking No, I really like this guys. Really like this car. Angles you can get with this this car compared to the GTR is insane. Just have to be a little bit more careful with the throttle or else you'll lose the drift very easy like that. But a few more practice tries for this car and be very close to the GTR. It is a really good, really good car for drifting. Again, it won't be my favourite. My favourite, I think it's going to be impossible for any car to top that GTR. It's just, it's amazing. If you haven't seen that build, guys, go have a look at the page. Have a look at that GTR build, because that is just an insane drift car. But the, the RX-7 is giving it a good run for its money here. Yeah. I've got a hell of a lot of points with this car. Terrible drifting there. Focus, Chris, focus. Nah, slow down too much there. Yeah, like you say, this wants to slide, which is which makes it so much easier for drifting. Ah, too much angle in that top corner there. With a lot of practice, this car could be a phenomenal car, by the way, in this game. So I can understand why a lot of people have actually built one of these for drifting, because it it is a good car. Thousand through that one turn there. It's crazy amount of angle you can get with this thing. And there we have it. So yeah, I do. I recommend that car for you guys that want to go on a build something that's really easy to drift with, really competitive for any race you do. That RX-7 is definitely up there. Again, not my favourite. Nothing will top that GTR for me. I have tried a few cars, this being one of them. BRZ's one of them. 
but nothing compares to that GTR. Nothing at all. Although this does look phenomenal. But I suppose it's not just about the looks when you're drifting. Now oh, we're in the garage here. No, I was going to swap cars, bring up the GTR for a bit of fun, but no. Yeah, like I say, this thing does look good. Slammed on its backside. But anyway, guys, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed the everything you've seen, give it a like. If you've not subscribed already, smash the button, please. Be much appreciated. And there will be a hell of a lot more content coming over the next few weeks. So keep an eye out for that. But see you in the next one. Peace.